the woman who killed her husband after systematically beating him with a rolling pin and physically abusing him has been jailed for the crime. The husband's life was controlled by his wife Hannah Gret Donnelly, 55, through threats and beatings, according to police reports. At the time of his death, he had 78 external injuries and various internal injuries, including fractures of the spine and neck. Donnelly was found guilty of murder and sentenced to life in prison with a minimum of 16 years behind bars. Donnelly's wife called 999 on 31st of March after he contracted pneumonia in the bathroom and lay dead on the floor the entire night. The 55-year-old husband of the woman was struck with an object, including a rolling pin, and her systematic domestic abuse had weakened his body to the point of death, police said. Investigators found his blood all over the house in Aylesbury, Buckinghamshire including on furniture, walls, and ceilings. Among the injuries he sustained were a cauliflower ear, fractures to the cartilage in his mouth, as well as other traumatic injuries caused by either a fist or a blunt object. After a trial at Kingston Crown Court, Mrs. Donnelly was convicted for the murder of her husband as a result of pneumonia he contracted as a result of his injuries. As Detective Chief Inspector Felicity Parker put it, Mr. Donnelly's body was seriously weakened by his wife's abuse and she did not seek medical treatment when Christopher most needed it. She went on to say that domestic abuse can affect anyone, regardless of their gender, in our society. Christopher was repeatedly physically abused by his wife, who controlled his life through threats and beatings, and he did not seek or was not able to seek help for his condition. Therefore, I urge anyone who is the victim of abuse to come forward and seek help, support in reporting it so that it can be investigated. When she sentenced Donnelly, Mrs. Justice Yip said her husband experienced real physical suffering for a long period of time before his death and it was unconceivable that he did not also suffer mentally. As a couple, they have been married for 23 years and have lived an isolated lifestyle with their four children, as well as avoiding modern technology, including mobile phones. The judge said it was difficult for her to imagine the horrors her children must have experienced, saying to Donnelly, it is hard to imagine the horrors your children must have endured after witnessing your repeated abuse towards his father and when it culminated in his death. Prosecutor Eloise Marshall QC said that Mr. Donnelly, a former music teacher, had become disabled by January and was unable to walk. However, until his death, his wife had inflicted a great deal of mental and physical suffering on him until he died from the injuries he had sustained. In her testimony, Donnelly told police that there was something odd going on in their home, which affected both her and her husband's health, and even suggested that her husband welcomed the beatings at times. She told police that she beat her husband when he talked about the wrong subject, acted disinterested or looked at her the wrong way.